Orchestral cymbal playing is an art in itself, and I've been very fortunate to have studied with Michael Booksband, who's the principal percussionist of the Philadelphia Orchestra, and really one of the world's foremost cymbal players. His sense of sound and finesse is really unparalleled in the music world. We use Sabian cymbals. Uh, the Sabian cymbals have a really great character of sound uh, based on the old K Istanbul cymbals. And um, for orchestral playing, they've really, really um, dominated the market, and for good reason. Now, this happens to be a pair of 19-inch Viennese Sabian cymbals, a very good pair for starting out with and for general purpose playing. You can play soft, you can play loud with a full sound, and they're pretty easy to play. If you look at the cymbal, it's shaped kind of like a suction cup. Now, this can be a problem <laughs> for many players. If you imagine two suction cups getting stuck together like that, uh, that's something you want to avoid. As with all percussion instruments, relaxation is the key to playing the cymbals. If you are tense, you'll lock up and get a very constricted sound and very likely be hitting that air pocket with those suction cups. So it's important to remember to be relaxed. Now the technique that I use is great for getting the sound of the cymbals out over the orchestra. And we're going to have the crash in this area here and for loud crashes a follow through up here. Now a lot of people think of when they have their cymbals, they think of forcing the cymbals together. Like the harder they smash them together, the louder sound they will get. And nothing can be further from the truth, okay? If you force something, you're never going to get a good sound. Always got to be relaxed. What determines how loud the cymbals play, or how much, not really how loud, but how much sound there is, how much sound you get, is really the process of using potential energy and then releasing the energy. So the potential energy is how far the symbols are apart and then the release is the crash. And it really you think of it as a release of energy and not of a you know point of, of impact. You're just releasing the energy that you're building up by the natural weight of the symbols. I often think of bounce, bouncing the cymbals off each other and to get a nice big sound. Now, I often think of, describe it as a downward circular motion with the right hand and a simultaneous upward circular motion with the left hand. This is very, very important. And I, for larger crashes, I try to keep the edges, bottom edges facing in. Try to resist the urge of turning over the right hand this way. So now, the smaller circle you make, the softer the crash. The louder circle, the louder the crash is going to be. And let's just get warmed up here and play a few. <laughs> Now, at the point of impact, the bottom part of the symbol hits first, and then it just bounces over, and the top part hits, then you have your follow-through. It's almost like thinking of the word crash, but separating out. Crash. Symbol players call this a flam, and eventually you want to learn to adjust the flam. Play them really big. <laughs> or smaller. Okay? And eventually you'll learn to control that so that you can really finesse it and to get the character sound that you want. Now, for softer crashes, very soft crashes, I like to switch to a smaller cymbal. And I have a pair of Sabian Viennese symbols. These are 17-inch symbols. And for the soft crashes, you want to meet them together. Now, there are various ways to do this, but 
Most cymbal players mark their cymbals with what's called a beating spot or a sweet spot, and that tells you where the cymbals fit together just perfectly so every time you can get a nice sound. Now you can hold the, I, for soft crashes, uh, about uh, half an inch or so, I will hold them off set. And I keep the left stationary, and I just move the right very gently in a circular downward motion. Two, three. Two. All right, nice and not a lot of motion. So you, you feel where they meet, separate, and then. Aim to get every single crash of similar character. So you don't want some sounding louder, some sounding softer. Try to get them all the same when you're playing soft crashes. Very important. The wrist break point, very important. Think of it, I often think of the loud crash as making a flam with the drumsticks. Very similar. The left hand is the grace note and the right hand is the primary note. and I think of playing that flam with the drumsticks, and during that process, the wrist is going to flop at the point of impact, almost like that, that very similar to the Muller whipping motion. So you have that point of actual release and relaxation at the impact point of the crash. And you can notice this. This is really the icing on the cake with the loud crashes. Let's do a few with that. Okay, you have it. And so you have that mo moment of release when the cymbals hit. And that gives it an extra special kind of shimmer and character of the sound. Um, so that's a good thing to practice is that, that wrist break point. Muffling. When you muffle the cymbals, you want to bring them into your sides here, not up here. You'll chop your arms up. No, you won't chop your arms up, but it'll be uncomfortable. It's much better if you can bring them in down here. Try not to make them too short. You know, give the cymbals a chance to breathe before you muffle them, okay? Only if you're in a really, really, really uh, boomy acoustic space do you really have to cut them short immediately. Now, very fast, loud playing, such as Tchaikovsky's Fourth Symphony. Once again, I use the flam analogy. And I think of just playing right-handed flams with the drumsticks over and over again in quick succession. And I basically use this technique while holding the cymbals. So when you look at something like uh, Tchaikovsky's Fourth, when you have all these... <laughs> Okay, all of those, I'm just imagining that I'm playing flams with drumsticks. Cha 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 cha. And then I'm just merely holding cymbals. Transfer that technique to the cymbals, and you'll be fine with that.